Okay, continuing with the um, description of uh, the computation of optimal um, dynamic, uh, optimal binary search tree. Um, so, um, as we ended the previous video, um, you we said that um, the way to do it, um, to do this computation efficiently, is to start by calculating um, the the trees that. Um, contain only one element, then go to uh, trees that contain uh, two elements, uh, and so on, and then go to three elements, and so on. So for, for two elements, as we said, there is, uh, there are, um, there's a minimum between two um, sums uh, corresponding to the two elements you can put in the root. And um, these sums are uh, quite trivial. This uh, 0, 1 is exactly equal to P1, and this is equal to 0, this is equal to 0, and this is equal to P2. Okay? Um, so to organize this, uh, this computation um, better, uh, we can use uh, matrix notation tables in the following way. Suppose we have these um, five examples that we want to calculate over. And uh, to simplify um, the writing, um, let's um, make all of the probabilities have a common denominator of 24. So this is 5 over 24. This is 10 over 24. This is um, um, 2 over 24, this is 3 over 24, and this is 4 over 24. And um, now we can just um, neglect to write the 24 all the time and just use these numbers. So the, um, the first two, um, uh, the first diagonals that we fill in our uh, matrix for Wij is the Wii, which are all 0, and then the W i i plus 1, which are 5, 10, 2, 3, 4. So 5, 10, 2, 3, 4. Uh, this matrix represents um, the nodes in the tree. So which, which node do we choose to use um, as the root? And because these uh, are uh, single node trees, they are trivially just contain the node itself. Okay, so that's all that there is here. And here we calculate all of... Uh, the PIJs, um, here there are zeros, here we have the 5, 10, 2, 3, 4, as we said above, and now um, we can easily calculate sums of uh, subset if we have uh, 5 plus 10 is 15, 5 plus 10 plus 2 is 17, 5 plus 10 plus 2 plus 3 is 20, and so on. Um, okay, so uh, now we want to start filling the matrix and um, until we get to, to this element here, which corresponds to our solution. Okay, so uh, here is um, one case. Um, suppose we want to fill in this element. Uh, it corresponds to um, W02. Uh, so it has two elements, one, two. And um, this, uh, to calculate this, we need to take the minimum over two sums, as we uh, said before. So we, can we take either W0, um, zero, 0, plus W1, um, 2, or um, uh, W0, uh, um, 1, plus W22, okay? So uh, W22 is this element, is 0. W00 is this element, it's 0. So we're comparing W12 to W01. Uh, W01 is 5, W12 is 10, so we'll go with 10, with 5. So we'll go with, uh, with this element here. And, um, and then to that, we need to add uh, P of um, 0, 2. So P1 plus P2, um, which is um, this value, 15. So we have 15 plus the 5 from here 
and that gives us the 20 here. And the 2 uh, represents the fact that um, um, the solution that we chose is, uh, is this one. Okay? So, um, so the, the element that we chose to use as a root, if we just have these two elements in our subtree, um, is 2. Okay, and uh, this way we continue and fill in all of the threes and then uh, all of the length two and then we fill all the length three um, and uh, then the length four and finally the length five and here is um, our solution. So um, this 44 represents um, the W, the f 44 over 24, that is equal to W zero five okay so that's basically the uh, expected length and now if we want to know what is the tree itself we have to follow the rij's back um, in this matrix so we go to two and that basically tells us that the that the root um, element would be uh, two okay and um, then on one side it will have one from here and um, on the other side it will have four and that would have on one side three and on the other side five okay so it's just we just read out the tree uh, from this from this uh, table by choosing two we know that um, uh, that we have the trees um, th we have uh, zero to one and then um, we have um, two to five okay so um, so that basically tells us which are the two um, children of that tree and um, that's pretty much it